I'm on SQL Server 2019. Which should I patch? Should I put on the latest CU plus a security update or should I only put on the latest security update? This was such a big question for such a long time and I was so frustrated that Microsoft didn't have clear advice on it that I built a site called SQLServerUpdates.com. SQLServerUpdates.com. Right there on the home page, it tells you here are exactly the updates that you should apply and the order in which you should apply them. I make it really easy for you. Just go to SQLServerUpdates.com and follow the instructions right there on the screen. Super simple. Um, every now and then I feel like I'm, uh, like if somebody would have read the question, they would have been like, Brent put that question in for, on purpose to like promote something. No, that I had the same problems that y'all did. I had those same problems where clients would ask me all the time, you know, what patch should I apply? What patch do you recommend uh, that I apply? I recommend that you should go on the current patch. Go as, as new as you possibly can because I know how y'all work. You don't patch that often. <laughs> You only patch like every three months or every six months. So when you're going to do it, you might as well be on the latest one because they fix really serious bugs. Uh, in 2022, I believe, as, as of this recording, the most recent CU fixed corruption problems, database corruption issues. You think that there can't be any more of those in the year 2025, and they, they still keep coming. I'm not saying that the product's bad. The product is good. They keep aggressively finding and fixing things, especially that are tied to newer features. Uh, the more new features that you use, especially in combination with each other, the more likely you are to hit those kinds of edge case bugs. Uh, but I applaud Microsoft for not only fixing them, but also being transparent uh, when they find them and fix them. Like here are the things that we did.